hello good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to my youtube channel my name is brenda caesar conte please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the note i have a lot to, so you have to hit the notification button okay and leave your comments also help me to share help me to share the good news good please sharing is good you understand because others need need to hear what you are hearing as well um please let me just say this i have to be saying this on each or almost every audio we are here to help people yeah it's not that we are experts and it's not compulsory for you to watch us neither is it compulsory for you to take what we are telling you however i would like you to watch me because whatever i say you will have something to get from it even if you don't agree 100 percent so please let us stop this hate you understand especially amongst our people they will never congratulate you they will never thank you most of them because some do i have to be honest I have some people here, yeah? each time I send my video, each time, I know what I'm saying. I'm, I don't know, some of them don't want you to call their name, but I'm going to call your name, your first name at least. There's a lady called Emilia, another lady called Justina, and another one called, um, oh, I will find out her name, is it um, Christiana or something like that. They always, there are other people who will, of course, send to me, thank you for sharing things like that. But those ones, or every, each and every video, I have to be saying you are welcome all the time. This is how some people are so grateful. Some people are so thankful, you know. But there are some, <laughs> it is pulling down, they're enjoying it, they're benefiting it, but they cannot come and praise the sister. No, 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 they cannot, they just can't do it. Anyway, thank you for watching me. You're welcome, all of you, including those who like to pull us down. You are welcome. Thank you very much, okay? How, where should I start? Where should I start? Where should I start? Oh, Sierra Leoneans. Tribe. What is the meaning of tribe? Tribe is supposed to, um, to help us in Africa. Tribe is supposed to be a very good thing in Africa. You understand? Because each and every tribe is unique. Their language, their culture is unique. And in each and every tribe, you will find somebody who is good, somebody who is going to be extremely wicked, and someone who is in between. And each and every tribe, you will have somebody, you know, let me just start by let, let me ask you a question. It's a rhetoric question, by the way, because you're not going to answer. That is what it means. The question I'm asking you, I come from Sierra Leone. I always talk about it. You should know by now that I come from Sierra Leone. Yesterday, I went to the supermarket and the lady was sitting down there. And I, she said, where are you from? I said, I'm from Sierra Leone. Where is Sierra Leone? Don't. Sierra Leone, you should know Sierra Leone by now. But I should make you know my beautiful country. It is tiny but it is my country and i like talking about it where is my flag i have the flag here always i am ready to promote and talk about my country i am a proud sierra leonean okay now if somebody goes to my country let me say a white man this is my country and adopts um a baby or a one-year-old child two-year-old child and bring that child to scotland to um england you understand and then that child grows up with that those that's why in that white family do you okay let me say you um that the the white man went to um the limba kingdom the limba clan the tribe and got this child back and the child is um in england living with the white pair do you expect that child to know anything about the limba culture no is the answer so does this does your tribe matter no however because you are born in this tribe, there are some tribes, they have some characteristics. For instance, let me start with my tribe, Creole. I am from the Creole tribe, and I'm a proud Creole. Even though I don't like some of their ways, I abuse them all the time. One thing I don't like about them, they are always sitting on the fence. Creole, they are not allowed, and it is because of the way they have been brought up. I have some of them as friends. Oh my God. They have no, they have no opinion. They are not allowed to have opinion. I have one. I am not going to call your name. 
I, she normally calls me Auntie Brenda, like a younger sister. I love her to bits. She has no opinion. No opinion whatsoever. Because she has been suppressed. You know, the harsh um, um, upbringing. So she's not, she's up to now. She's married. Mm -hmm. Her name starts with L. You know yourself. I mean, I'm going to send this video to you. Learn to start having opinion, but oh, maybe it's too late. She has um two. I am not going to say two girls. Okay, you know yourself. She does not have opinion. No, no opinion whatsoever. I'm like, oh my god. That is why I'm thankful to my parents because my parents and my grandma, my grandma was worse. You understand? She was in love with kids, and you are. They will draw the talk out of you. You really. <laughs> It's when you keep quiet as a child. You know, I, I, I am the only girl. Okay, my parents, they are, and they are late now. And so my mom would talk some things to me, even about sex to me when I was a child. And I was confused. I did not know. That is how liberal they are. And that's why I am like this. And that is why in those WhatsApp groups, they don't like me because I am strange. In the Sierra Leone community or most African community, you are not allowed to express yourself. You express yourself, you are rude. You have no training, according to how they will say it in Sierra Leone. You are very rude. You don't respect elders. <laughs> you don't allow to talk when elders are around. <sighs> I will talk. <laughs> I will talk. You are not the one feeding me. I have opinions. The opinions. That is why I am free. I am liberated. And that is why people say, oh, you are clever. I am not clever. I am liberated. Understand what I'm saying? And let me tell you something. You, maybe, you, you are clever more than me. In fact, I don't believe that there is any dumb person. No. Because even those children who have learning disability, if you put them in front of the piano, they play tune more than mm -hmm. they can sing. Some of them, they, they have whatever talent that you cannot match up with. So I don't believe there is any living being that is stupid. I don't believe in that. But I believe that my brain is allowed and I am inquisitive. I like to learn. I learn from everybody, even the children, the neighbors. And that is why some of you, you will just be on that WhatsApp group talking politics, politics. And even when you are talking politics, it is boring, some of you, because it is one voice, your voice. You don't make it exciting. You don't bring examples. Some of you, I try to listen to you. But it's like, look at how you sound. Madam, you're in government, bad, because they all not. Who is going to listen to that? You will send me to bed. I am not discrediting you. I have them in those groups. Uh, and it is always politics. You ask them about the country they live in. If they live in America, if they live in New York, how do you pay your tax? Don't do They don't know. They don't know nothing. It is just that way, especially the men. But the men are like that. Mm -hmm. So tribe. I don't believe in tribe. That's why I don't believe in tribe. What is the definition of tribe? Okay. Now I start using a Creole as the case study. I remember the Creoles freed slaves, okay? And most of them, especially the Maroons, they were living in what is now known as the Caribbean Islands. And when they were there, they were building their wooden houses and they would have like um, a foundation, a cement foundation, and they would build a wooden structure. So they carried that kind of architecture in, um, with them to Sierra Leone. So we have a lot of wooden houses. And one interesting characteristic about those wooden houses was that up window that you will hardly see. And because at that time, our forefathers, the Creoles, the women, women never walk. They were housewives. What do you expect them to do? If you were in their position, whereas the non-Creoles, because I don't like to say country, I don't like to use that word. I don't like it. It's, it's not nice for me. I don't like it. Okay? The non-Creoles up in the provinces, they will go to the farm and they are busy. So they will, because of them, the <laughs> culture, they will have less time to go and busybody. You understand what I mean? But with us, the Creoles, they will stay, you will hardly see them and they are there. Some of them, they will be making like this. And they are watching everything that is happening. So because of the culture, they have time. And this is what is happening now. 
COVID, most of us, especially in the diaspora, we are not working at the moment. And that is why we have suddenly become busybody. Oh, 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 especially the men. They know about you more than you know about yourself. So you see, we adapt. We are human beings. We are animals. Animals adapt to their uh, environment. That is why you are so animals. They have become extinct. Even in Sierra Leone, they said one time they used to have elephants, lions, and everything. But they have adapted. That is why they say animals when they are in the bush leave them in the bush okay because if you go and obstruct they can be extinct they can run away move away and things like that people we are the same we are animals we adapt to our environment so the tribe does not matter much to me it does not matter much another good thing let me talk good thing about my creole family they teach us to be independent. I keep saying this all the time. That is why I am shocked. I am shocked the way some people behave. Like I am the last in my family. But I was never brought up to beg, to ask my brothers, the older ones, uncles. We used to have uncles, bank governor as uncle. I have never begged them. My parents have never spoken. And that is good for us because it makes us become very independent. And even if somebody gives us, we know that we are not entitled. The spirit of entitlement in my country, I bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. In fact, that is the spirit that is making you people pointing to politicians. But are you blaming the politician? If that minister uh, happened to be a member or permanent sector or whoever happened to be a member of your family, ah, all your burdens on that person, all your burdens on that person. And that is why... They have to dip their hand where they are not supposed to dip their hand because let me make a reference and that is a fact you understand i'm not trying to be tribalistic here but that is a fact when the creoles were in governance do you see did you see them still like that i am talking about my forefathers creole not the ones now <laughs> mm, the ones now they can still they have adapted <laughs> My grandfather's time. My grandfather was the chief justice, was this, was that, one time ambassador and so on and so forth. Has only one house. Those are the Creoles I'm talking about, too. not the Ayampi ones now. Oh, they, they have adapted. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So, time does not matter. In fact, in Sierra Leone, we have all become one now. Hmm. We have the same characteristics, visible doing. Mm. We all have that spirit of entitlement. That one, a lot of Creole, they are still um, shy to beg. A lot of them. Mm, because I have my cousins and my aunts. They hardly ever beg me anyway. You understand? So that's one. Okay. And then we go to this one. Bisabody or Fufu. That is the same thing. Um, care, go bring Kami is the same thing. Busybody. Okay. Gossiping. We are all doing it now. So we have all adapted to become one. What is the difference between the Minde, the Timde, the Limba, and the Nigerians, the Ghanaians? We have all become, we have all adapted. And that is why people say we should have, we should come together, have one language in the whole of Africa. East Africa, they are doing well. They are, most of them, they have sw Swahili. You sh you know, it would have been better, oh, like here, look at it, English. Ah, one English. Mm, that is what they speak and that is why they are united more than us and to bring africa to me i believe one day it will happen maybe not in my lifetime or my generation it will happen and then you will see what will happen to africa because united will stand divided will fall and that is why even in my country we're having problems now we are so divided it is unbelievable and i'm saying this over and over and over we will not make much progress if we do not unite Sierra Leone. You understand? We have to have a common language, whatever the language is. I, I know that Creole is because a lot of people talk Creole. We have to come together. We have to make maybe a party that is APC predominantly. They think that it is from the north and it is only the northern that you will let them make Mindeman rule the APC and then SLPP, let them make the Timini of the Limba. And then you will see a bit of unity. And also what they did in Tanzania, what did they do in Tanzania? Um, they made sure that inside, when they, they it was not only the last president, the deceased one, okay, the one before that one, too, made sure that inside the parliament, inside the government, they had a mixture of all the tribes. That is a very important thing, President Madabio.
take notes. It is important. Unity is important. You will not say, I do not agree with you when you said the last time that it is people who you know. No, I know it is good because even here, the ones closest to you, you have to make sure that it is people who you know and who you trust whom you have worked with. But there are other areas where you could have put a little bit more mixture. I believe that you can change because you are president. You talk and do and you listen to us. So I am begging, please put a more mixture. People are complaining me it's not me i don't know i like go to say alone i'll find out people are complaining that it is only people from your tribe which is the main day tribe that one will help and what else did they do in tanzania if i could remember they made sure that they had boarding schools all over the place and all the children mix mix in this place mix mix in that place so you will find out that tanzania is more united and many other african countries because it happens also in ghana it happens also in, in nigeria this division and the most interesting thing before i end people when they meet you on social media or everything foreigners like the first thing they ask where are you from what is your tribe oh my god i don't like that question what has my tribe got to do with it why don't you want to know me as a person why do you want to know my tribe my tribe has nothing to do with me for instance when they say there are other things they normally talk about creole they say we are greedy it is true to a large extent but things are changing because like with me um my mom <laughs> when you go to the house you eat it eat, eat, and that is why even ask my friends when they come to my house i cook for them most of the time because i'm used to it you understand in fact we were the one the children or those in the house so we are the one who would have to forfeit you have to make that stranger eat and later on our parents will give us food this is it so in every tribe you have exceptions to the rule you understand and it is true because i remember before i finished let me give you the last one i had my creole family all the way at that time we used to live um in um Sierra Hotel, and we went to in jalan and this family they were creole the, the husband was a lecturer at jala university do you know they did not serve us Creole, don't do that. It's not good. They never serve us, but it's like my mom knew because that's how I am, and that's how I raise my children. Even when we are going to party, we eat first because you don't know what is going to happen there. Don't go with your belly. So my mom made sure we ate, we put a lot of food in the car and everything. And you will not believe those Creole family. They knew we knew we were coming because in the Creole house, you have to tell them before you come. You don't just appear pop up like that. They knew, and that woman could not prepare food for us. Ah, and they ate right in front of us. They said, excuse me, the dining room was there. I was a little girl, but I was like, oh, what is going on? And my mom always talked about that. So that is something about the Creole as well. That is something fishy about them. But the next time, let me just quickly say good things about them. They are very appreciative. We know how to say thank you a lot. We know how to appreciate. We are very independent. We are very knowledgeable because most of our, nearly every Creole goes to school. We are very clever, intelligent. It's not that... People who don't go to school are not intelligent. I will talk about that later. I don't want it to be long because I'm, I'm when you study the Arabic, you're not illiterate, okay? You are illiterate, maybe say, people who don't read and write English. Hmm? That is not illiteracy. But with us, we read and write English because we go to school. So I've made that one clear, okay? Okay, and then they make sure that their children, they give them the best education. That is very good about them. Like many other tribes, we are all one. That is another similarity. We all become one now because all the tribe, they make sure their children, even the girls, go to school now at days. Although some some people are lucky. It does not depend on the tribe. Some people, they just have their own ways, okay? So I'm going to stop here for now. Please share, share. So this is about my video. I'm going to talk about Nigeria. I know a lot about Nigeria. What brought the divide between the North and South? Nigerians. I am coming to talk about your history because remember at one time we all want to it is this Oyimbo they came and divided us <laughs> because they want to conquer that is what they did please like and share and don't forget to subscribe to me have a blessed day today is saturday uh who is going to cook for food? me i'm not cooking for food today i have to go out so have a blessed day god bless you all thank you bye bye